And if you have ridden the Metro Rail recently, you may have noticed the new turnstiles are now up and working, but are they being used just yet? They are part of a multi-million dollar upgrade to the NFTA's payment system, and you paid for it. And tonight, to Inside's Kelly Dudzik brings us a complete update. It'll be much, much more convenient for people who don't want to carry cash. As our partners at Investigative Post reported in December of 2019, the NFTA is getting an upgrade. A new payment and data collection system with a $22 million price tag, which includes turnstiles to get into the Metro Rail's eight underground stations. Investigative Post reported the new system would be in place in the summer of 2020. Were they supposed to be like used in 2020 is there a delay no i mean there is a delay and there has been you know due to covid and supply chain and really this is a phased project so we don't, we're not going to start right off of the get-go uh with the turnstiles that are working we really want people to get used to them so they are not turned on they're going to be like that for a while it's the first update to the way fares collected in more than 20 years it's an account-based system for the metro rail and buses you'll load money onto a card and use the card to get your ride eventually you'll be able to use your phone too so you'll tap it when you go in you still have the option of using cash as well so that will be new and much anticipated by our riders i asked if this will help stop people from riding underground without paying. It's hard to say there's not a number to be honest with you. You know, we do anticipate um, that it will help revenue. It's kind of a small part of the benefits to this new program. It's a modern system um, and it's going to give us a lot of great data, really complete data, modern data. The NFTA says fencing will be going up around the turnstiles in the next couple of weeks and the changes will happen in phases later this year. You can expect to see the turnstiles up and running at all the Metro Rail stations sometime this summer. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.